It's Power Back Time on the Gutsy Podcast. Each episode brings you five minutes of condensed inspiration to reclaim the courage and momentum you've unintentionally given away. You've got big things to do, so let's get your power back. Earlier this week, we talked about the two different types of discomfort. The first being the unknown jitters and the second being the deep-rooted hell no's. Once you have identified and really felt in your body what you're experiencing, whether it's, you know, I'm a little bit nervous and scared because this is new to me and I don't really feel like I know what I'm doing. I'm not sure if I'm ready. Or if you've just got this icky, deep-rooted, like something is not right. I know in my body that this is not for me. Once you have taken time to really just be still and let your body and your mind work together versus against one another, then comes this magical moment of decision making. Oh, decisions. They're so easy, except when there's other people involved, it's not so easy. And you can feel 110% in line with yourself. You know what the right thing to do is. You know what you need to do. And then you're faced with that time where it's time to step up and do the damn thing. All of a sudden, your brain wants to take over and be like, oh, are you sure? Maybe if we just deal with this, maybe if we just don't do that. And then, you know, you end up in this tug of war within yourself. We get caught up in our heads more times than not. This morning, I decided on my way to work that I deserved a Starbucks. So I went through the drive through and the lady opened the window. and She's like, oh, my gosh, I love your nose ring. And we got into this quick story because there was nobody behind us that I had had my nose pierced for over 22 years. I had it pierced in Hollywood on a family vacation. And it was just kind of this random thing, but it's become, uh, you know, kind of a part of my identity. And she was telling me that she'd always wanted to do it, but was too afraid. And I told her this. She handed me my coffee and I looked at her and I said, I want you to remember this. Fear is often in the anticipation. And when you make the decision to just do it, all of that wasted energy goes away. You're going to be so glad that you did it. And as I was pulling away, she's like, oh my gosh, you've inspired me. I'm going to do it. I'm going, I'm going in. I'm going to do it. I'm like, get it, girl. It is time for you to do what you need to do. You see, it's not really the decision that messes us up. It's not even necessarily the hard decision that messes you up. It's the long period of time that you sit on it. Indecision kills more ideas, potential, financial opportunities, and personal freedom more than just about anything else. Indecision keeps you stuck and still, and it sets the expectation that you're okay with it. Even though deep down, Lord knows that you're not. But on the outside, if you're not making decisions, you're staying exactly where you are. This week, I want to encourage you to take your power back by making the decisions and owning them, truly, truly stepping into them, either whether that's having the conversation with somebody or turning something down or putting action behind something, whatever you have been mulling on. It's this back and forth. Well, what if this? Well, what if that? I'm not sure this. I don't know if I'm ready. You end up in this long ass hallway sitting and wondering how the hell you're going to get out of it. Do you go left? Do you go right? Well, what if you just stood up and started walking in one of those directions? What if you followed what your gut was telling you to do? I'm telling you every single time that I have mulled over making a decision and acting on it, I have wasted hours. I'm going to go with days (laughs) of sleep in my life the anxiety and depression and the worry and the overthinking and just this heightened emotion that pulls you out of your everyday life, that pulls you away from why you are here in the first place. Every single time I have done the hard thing, I've always felt like, damn it, why didn't I just do that sooner? We often make things way bigger than they are in our heads. I mean, it's just kind of the fact of life, but it's kind of like a muscle, And the more you work it, the stronger it gets. The more you realize, hey, I actually turned out okay. Or hey, I learned something really valuable from this. The stronger that muscle gets. When you make the decision and do the damn thing, all of that wasted energy just simply goes away. The night's thinking and wondering and worrying, it's all in the anticipation of the what if. If you take your power back, silence the noise in your head, and feel what you need to feel in your body, listen to it. What is it telling you? Once you know, do it. 
rip the damn Band-Aid off and go all in. If you're sitting here nodding your head right now, yes, I am all up in your head business. And you, my friend, know what it's time to do. On the next episode of the Gussie Podcast, we are talking about having the energy to make necessary changes in your life. And to do that, I have Katie Webb from Ayla, which is a plant-based pre-workout beverage for women. Be sure to head over to lauraora.com to learn about brand reviews, power back sessions, and the newly launched brand starter program. Join the conversation on social with me at that Laura Aura. And as always, until I see you next time, stay gutsy. Stay gutsy.